Hi Virgo, welcome back to Key Wisdom to Raw and happy birthday! My name is Ruth and I'm your Reiki Master and Tower Reader and this Virgo is your birthday tower reading, your intuitive reading for this time between the 29th of August and the 12th of September, okay? Um, for those of you that aren't that are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. And for all those people that have supported me for the past 12 months or so, I really do appreciate that. Okay, my darlings, Key Wisdom to Raw, just to reiterate, is I read intuitively. It's really based on mindfulness, meditation, Reiki and Tarot. And my job, my aim, my hope is to help you to heal, to expand, to gain more clarity and wisdom on your life, on your perspective, on who you are as an individual, okay? And and, the, and to really understand the things that matter to you, okay? So hopefully the reading that I do will help you to 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 do that and to assess those things over the next um, couple of weeks as we move into the middle of September. My darlings, I've already shuffled and meditated. I'll do a little bit more of that on camera and we'll get started in your reading. And I'm excited for your birthday reading. I really am. Okay, my lovely Virgos, these are your key energies, okay, and outcomes. Um, this one's come out with a clarifier, which has never happened to me before. Okay, there's some clarifiers that are already um, dealt as well. Um, and we'll look at your key energies. These are the areas in, in your life or the ideas, the spaces that you need to be really mindful of and engage with this month, okay? Um, and the card at the base of your reading is the Emperor. Now, I have to just, this is coming, when, as soon as I started dealing your cards, this is the message that came through to me. What has happened to your optimism? It's as if somebody has taken your optimism away, Virgo. What's happened to you? Why don't you believe in yourself? Why don't you believe that things are going to be all right? You, something as in you, that's how you're feeling right now. Fed up. Um, you're like not, you're just not trusting that things are, are, are going to get better or that things are, are going to be okay in some area, in a specific area in your life. Now, I don't know what the area is. It could be related to to, to work, to business, um, but it could be related to relationships. It could be related to anything. I don't know what it is. But your optimism, it seems like you are you were on a very optimistic high at the beginning of August, and it's slowly, slowly been eroded um, as we come into this this time period. Now, I don't know why that is, but it's misplaced. You can be optimistic. Remember, it's always darkest before the dawn, Virgo, and it's your birthday season, so you need to be a lot more optimistic and know that the universe has got your back and that things are turning around for you and that you are getting the things that you want. So don't stress it, okay? Now, um, that message was, it was really hard to concentrate on the cards because that message was coming through th as soon as I picked up the first card. It was like, where's your optimism gone, Virgo? Why are you not optimistic anymore? So anyway, I've got that out of the way. So let's get started. Card at the base of the reading for you, my darlings, is the Emperor. The, this is a card that you need to, or the energy, I should say, that you need to see this reading through, this next couple of weeks through. And it, that means it's about your strength. It's about your... Um, confidence and remember the fact that you can be confident the fact that you are feeling strong the fact that you are feeling capable the fact that you are feeling like you can own it is because sorry one of the dogs is barking not tiny the other dog 
don't even ask me. Um, <laughs> um, the fact that you can feel that way is because you have investigated your foundations. Number four is about foundations, where you come from, family, um, your roots, your beliefs, what what creates those things. That is what the emperor represents. And there's a, there's a confidence of, excuse me, that's what the number four represents. The emperor represents the confidence that you feel once you understand those things. So do you understand what I'm saying to you? This is a kind of confidence. So for those of you that are hearing that, that little doubt in Thomas, that little voice in the back of your head that's, that's sort of making you feel as though you can't be confident. Yes, you can be. That you shouldn't be optimistic. Yes, you can be optimistic because right now you are poised. You are poised to claim it, to claim the opportunities, to claim the victories, to claim the success. You are poised for that. OK, so don't let the fact that it's taken a little bit longer than you thought it was going to take. Don't let that erode your confidence and don't let that erode your optimism. OK. All right, my darlings. So these are your key energies. OK, the areas of where we need to be most mindful. OK, what we need to be mindful of this year, uh, excuse me, over this time period. We'll look at this one first. We'll look at these two, which has never happened before, right at the end as your outcomes. OK. Okay, so what, what did I just say to you? I mean, look at that. Look at that. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. Now, you know that the Ace is number Wands. Number one is... Just bear with me a second. Sorry, I'm looking after my brother's dog. She's a puppy. She's beautiful, but she's a puppy. So, um, yeah, it's very hard looking after puppies. Um, I'm just, praise the universe that my tiny is, is the, the dog that I have, okay? Which I've engineered this dog, okay? So, to understand everything, like, when I'm meditating tiny, don't make a noise, he knows this. Um, anyway, so, number ones are the beginning of something. The beginning of something. The action of starting something the act of starting something that you are, in this instance, with it being one energy, passionate about. Something that you feel invested in. Something that makes your soul sing. Something that you feel committed to. This, is, When I said to you, some of you are ready to claim that opportunity, before I turn that card over, that's exactly what this card is representative of. There's a huge amount of confidence that comes with this energy because it's the universe saying, right, it's time. You have got to be mindful of this. The beginnings of something, the actions, the things that you do that help you to create and to manifest the things that you want. This is claiming those opportunities this, this month, okay, over this next couple of weeks. This is claiming them. So you have got to remember, be mindful of the fact that it's time you can act and you can be confident. So let's have a look then deeper. We need to look at the deeper messages, don't we, for you guys? Because I might, this is good, you know, we've, we've, we're in a, we've, we've got a really great start, we're in a great place. But where are you now, okay, in August? Where are you now? So let's have a look. We've got the King of Pentacles. Wow, Virgo, the world card. Whoa. Seven of um, Wands, the Nine of pentacles and the eight of pentacles now listen do you know what? why do you doubt me why do you doubt me virgo why do you doubt me not me why do you doubt you it's as if things are like you know for some of you things are what you've got the things that you wanted i don't know why you're stressing it's like you're not You're not believing it. You're not, you're not confident that it's going to happen forever, that it's going to be there, that it's going to be secure. Well, it is. All these cards are showing us the, the security that we need, the, 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 the new beginnings that you wanted, the opportunities that you wanted to claim, the confidence that you wanted to feel is here, manifested with the pentacles energy. Manifested. That means you can see it, you can touch it, you can feel it, okay? It's here. We start off with the King of Pentacles. So this is you. This is me as well because I'm a Capricorn. King of Pentacles represents our signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Earth signs. Earth signs are feminine, actually. They're compassionate. 
and they are focused all earth signs are focused on creating security and manifesting security doing what it takes in order to ensure security that's what the king represents because the king is actually the masculine aspect the king is actually what these are the actions that I must take in order to ensure my security. Now, for some of you, for some reason, you are wary. Now, that's not in the cards. That's the energy that I'm picking up on before I looked at the cards. Some of you are wary of the wary as in W-A-R-Y. Listen, it's a Lancashire accent, Blackbird accent. Just, just you know, just go with it. Um, some of you are wary of feeling confident. Some of you are wary of whether this is something that you you should do you can do yes it is it is an opportunity that you should take that you should grasp you have the capabilities you have the knowledge the wisdom the will with the wand energy you have all of those things in order to create the security that you want to take the actions necessary to ensure the security that you want to manifest it's as if as well there's a, there's, a, there's a confidence coming through for some of you. And this is something that will grow as you move out of August and into September. This confidence is, is, is growing within you as you start to see around you the world working with you, people working with you, the, the things that happen, the opportunities that come your way working in your favour. You will start, hopefully, to feel much more secure and confident moving forward, okay? So we've next got the world card. Now, the world card, the last card in the major arcana, just before the zero, okay? Just before the full card. So the world card, number 21, um, two, two one, which is three, about expansion, growth, healing, new opportunities, you being naked as a baby, free in the world as you. But this is about because we now know. The thing about the cards like the world card, justice, not justice, um, judgment, think about cards like that, the experiences can be quite uh, confronting, i.e. We, we have to claim an opportunity, we have to make a decision, we're, we're in a situation that sort of, in a way, shows us ourselves exposes us to ourselves yeah so you're exposed to yourself by engaging in an experience or by going through the experiences that you've gone through so say for example in 2019 if you've been in a job that you don't like and you've been trying to look for a new job and that process has been um, really difficult, really challenging. You've been depressed at times. You felt like, well, you know, all this work I've done and it's not good enough. No one wants me. No one's bothered. Da, 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 da. That, whatever it's been for you as an individual, that process is coming to an end. With We see that. We have a new start now. We have a new beginning now. But that sort of experience can sort of leave us feeling a little bit shaken feeling a little bit nervous and those are the type of experiences that we that are related to judgment the world transform the death card which is transformation so they so they can feel quite intense so some of you might have questioned yourselves man you've questioned yourselves this year Virgo. you've been like i thought i was all right i thought i was confident i thought i could i was capable i thought i was this i was that. But bloody hell, it showed me different this year. But I'm stronger now. I know what I need to do. I know what I want. I know that I'm capable now. Because once you see yourself for who you really are, once you know the truth of how you really feel, once you understand what really truly motivates you, no bullshit, excuse me, no bull. I usually warn you before I'm going to swear. No bull, you know. Once you know those things, see those things, recognize, even though to get to that point was painful, man, painful. That's when we start. That's when we can begin. So face up to things. This is where you're coming up to now, recognizing. So some of you might get the job or the man or the woman or the thing that you want represented by this. Some of you might get that opportunity now in August. Uh, at the end of August, beginning of September, and you are shell-shocked. Like, blimey, man, that were hard to get here. 
and you, you know you might feel oh god you know I don't know if you know it's taking me so long to get this job to get this house to get this person to whatever. can I even do it am I even sure yes you can and what you've got to stay true to is the fact that you are still standing you're still standing you're still here you survived it yes it was hard yes it challenged you yes at times in 2019 it's been so intense that you did not know. You questioned your relationship. You questioned your ability. You questioned your intelligence. You questioned whether or not you were a fraud. You know, am I, if no one wants me, am I even good enough? You questioned all of those things. And yes, it was intense. But you're still standing. You're still here. Which means you're capable. Which means you're stronger. Which means you've gained something from it. And that is the thing that you carry forward. And that is exactly what this card, the Seven of Wands, represents. That is what you carry forward. The knowledge, the wisdom that comes with the experience of the intensity. So you've got that now. And we can move forward. So we've got seven, eight, nine here. You've got that now. You can move forward. So we, we, we end up now... With these two cards, we might as well look at these together. The Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. You know, Sevens are about mystery, about trying to understand, trying to work out, trying to uncover. In this instance, with the Seven of Wands, we've uncovered, we understand that. Like, this is what I've got. This is, this is who I am. This is what I know to be true because of the stress, trauma, you know, intensity of the year so far, of the job search or of the man search or whatever it is for you as an individual. Then we have to build ourselves back up again. We have to work on focusing our, um, our energies on feeling secure again, um, putting, doing the input to get the output. That's what this is. It. This, that's what this is. This is you saying, well, I know what I can do, what I can offer, and this is me doing it. And I'm going to be refining that and I'm going to be working hard on that and I'm going to be putting more, putting that effort in because you've got to strengthen yourself. For some of you, your self-esteem has taken a bit of a knock. And as I said, I'm not sure it's been an intense year, so it's going to be different for everybody. Um, it's been an intense year, so it's going to be different for everybody, but you have, it's been, you know, you, your sort of self-esteem's taken a little bit of a knock. It's coming back and being strengthened. And it's being strengthened and coming back because you're able to do the work now. You're able to put the work into this, this new opportunity, whatever it is, the new job, the new relationship, whatever, the new situation, whatever it is for you as an individual, you're able to actually apply the knowledge, apply what you've learnt so far this year um, with this energy here of the eight of um, pentacles in order to, again begin a new energy have new energy and so you're, you're building yourself up you're refilling your cups almost but you're doing that in a very real way in a very real way out in the world where people can see and where you can see the difference that, that this year has made to your approach to yourself to your life to your relationships to your work whatever it is and that's something that leaves us feeling this confidence with the nine of the pentacles the re -re card you know she reminds me of Rihanna. She doesn't look anything like Rihanna, but she reminds me of Rihanna, this person, because, you know, Rihanna, man, you know, before Chris Brown, you know, then that whole situation happened. And then look at her. She she sort of blossomed. She realised, you know, I mean, I don't know Rihanna. I don't know that, you know, I, I, I love her music, but, you know, I don't know anything about her apart from, you know. But anyway, she's a re-re card because it's like after Chris Brown, you know, Things was, she must have felt like, wow, man, like, what was I, you know, this is bad. Like, this is, I don't know how she felt, but, you know, you can imagine. But she built herself up and that's you. That's you going through something that's traumatic or difficult or that's challenged you or that's that's affected your self-esteem, that's affected your your perspective, that's affected who your ego. I, and ego's not a bad, not a bad Thing. we love to interpret as humans our egos love to interpret our egos love to say well this is this and this is bad and this is good and this is wrong and this is right forget that the universe is about necessary the universe is about experience which which are experiences which are necessary to teach us that's what karma is experiences that are necessary in order for us to grow to learn to feel to engage etc okay and the experiences that you've had no matter how intense difficult dark challenging whatever even if they've been really positive ones, so that could be getting married, having a child, you know, 
looking after a puppy. You know, it's all well and good getting a dog. It's great. It's great news and happy. But you've got to still look after it. You've got to still train it, just like you do with your children. You know, you've got to still you've got to still feed them and clothe them, keep them safe. And and you might have been trying hard for this child, and then you get this child. You know, it might have been years. You and your husband, you and your partner, have been trying to get have this child, and you have this child, and you and that's been the challenge. Because no new, because any new, but I'm not a parent. And I've got many nieces and nephews. Um, any new parent will tell you, oh my gosh, it's really hard. And that might give you a confidence knock. You might think, oh my God, you know, I've wanted this child for so long. And now I feel like I'm, I, I can't do it. You know, I'm too exhausted. I'm losing my patience. One, totally normal. Everyone does it. Every new parent goes through that. Um, does it mean it's easy though? People think, I, I, I always think about children, you know, um, because there's loads of kids around, there's kids everywhere, isn't there? People think that it's one, easy to become pregnant. No, it's not. Um, and people think, too, well, you know, it's just like I said, like having children, oh, you know, it's easy to raise kids. Oh, it's easy to, it's hard, you know, the whole nursing and, and, and the effect it has on your body as a woman and on your relationship if you're in a hetero relationship. And not even if not, you know, even if it doesn't matter having a newborn is hard so that type of thing that might have knocked your confidence i'm using that as an example it could be specific to some of you actually but it's an example what i mean is it uh, what i mean is it could have been something that that we would view as negative or positive like having a child getting married etc for example but it could be any experience like that but that experience is in a way weakened you it's shown you parts of yourself that you needed to um understand that you needed to face up to necessary for your strength your confidence and that's what this card represents here your strength your confidence and you know it's funny because as i said these cards are all beautifully positive strong cards um but i don't know why i was feeling this um the message as i said was was clear though beforehand what's beneath the surface is different you can feel confident you don't have to you should definitely engage with the worry, the anxiety. You should ask yourself, watch the conscious meditation videos that I that I put out. Um, they're in the Key Wisdom playlist. You can watch the conscious meditation videos and they will, you know, how to basically engage with anger, with worry, with um, anxiety by talking it through, talking to yourself. That's what conscious meditation is. And I talk to myself all the time in a way to help me to work through issues, problems, feelings of insecurities whatever 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 it is i'm feeling or st struggling with worrying about feeling i engage with it out loud generally or oh, i'm a writer as well so i write but i engage with that out loud so check out the conscious meditation videos because it will help you to sort of as i said see see that stuff in front of your face and to know okay this is what i need to face this is why i was worried because that vulnerability and this card represents vulnerability actually that vulnerability that you feel is necessary to actually show you your strength okay so moving into september then so this is the fifth to the um 12th we've got the page of cups the page of wands the high priestess we've got this one the six of swords which has got a clarify clari you know an additional card and we've got the four of pentacles okay so um let's have a look we've got the pages now pages are always We are maturing with our decisiveness, with our with our ability to to act. We are growing in maturity with our ability to express our feelings and our emotions and to engage with them. So with pages, that's what we're doing now. But they're all so masculine, which means that masculines are all, the masculine energies. Masculine is about is about ego. Ego by ego, what we mean is, as I said, sense of self. So who I think I am. And therefore, what I should do and the actions that I should take and the actions that you do take, that's masculine. So for you, with the cups energy, this is about your emotions. It's about acting on your emotions. It's about, it's about really what I said, engaging with your emotion and engaging with your emotional self. Try some meditation. Try that conscious meditation where, you know, you actually speak out loud and say, you know, this is what is worrying me. This is what is 
this is why I feel, why do I feel anxious? Well, what does it mean when I say I feel anxious? Well, you know, it mean, I, I feel tense, you know, I can't relax. I don't think I can, I don't feel like I can open up to, to him, to her. I don't feel like I can tell them the truth. Okay, so why can't I tell them the truth? Well, well, maybe it's because, you know, I don't feel like it's important enough, like my voice is important enough. So that's maybe why I'm not telling the truth. So, so that's engagement. That's being mindful and being and meditating on an idea, a thought, something that, that, that you feel is an impediment. And that is something that you should engage with when we see pages. In this instance, with our emotions, we feel what, but the thing is, the beautiful thing, Virgo, about this and these energies is even though we feel vulnerable, we're still going to try. We're still going to ha act. We're still going to converse. We're still going to engage with, even though we feel it might make me feel vulnerable. I'm still going to try. I'm still going to do it. Okay. So for you guys, we've got this energy. I must also just bring in just quickly though, even though my, and this is about healing this reading. So I don't predict, but we could have indications of two other individuals coming in as well. So there could be people around you, fire sign and water signs that are, so um, fire is Aries Leo side, water is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, so you could have some other people coming in around you, helping, offering support. But we've also, we've, we've almost got like a yin and a yang here, a yin and a yang, um, a shokare and a seheki. Shokare is, um, Earth energy, Seheki is heavenly energy in Reiki. This is Earth energy. This is a Shokare. So it keeps me grounded. And we might use this symbol when we are, um, you can use it in distant healing or in, um, you know, face to face healings when you're working with a client uh, in Reiki. And this, this energy is about feeling grounded and it's about healing of our experiences or um the things that have happened so the ego if you will and our physical body so if somebody is having um trouble with their self-esteem for example um that's going to be layered it's multi-layered that actually so if i was doing a reading i don't know why i'm telling you this uh, if i was doing a, if i was doing a um a healing session a reiki session with somebody who was having um self-esteem issues for example we would start we would we would start with um, Shokare. In fact, but but we'd also work with Seheki, the heaven, heavenly energy, if you will, um, or the yang. I say, I don't know which is the yin and which is the yang. I think that the yin is earth and yang is heaven. No, it's not. It's all the way around. Um, anyway, um, I think yin is feminine in this instance. I don't know why I'm telling you all this, but basically what I mean is we we have the, those energies represented, heavenly and earthly. So heavenly is our soul, our emotions, our intuition. And then earthly is the experiences, or the experiences that we have, how they affect us. So that's what I was saying to you. You might be feeling angry, nervous, anxious, um, afraid, but you engaging with that. You might engage with that and try to understand that actively. That is the balance of the yin and the yang or the balance of so Shokare and Seheki and those energies. And we've got those represented here. So, and here. So it's, it's interesting how we've, you've also almost got this push pull going on this, um, this in September, but it, but it's a push pull that's sort of helping to balance you, helping to heal you. It's, it's like you are engaging with you're talking to you're questioning you're reasoning you're um reflecting on you know th th there's been a there's been a marked change for you um this year august has been a marked change a marked shift for you this year where there's there's there is there has been more engagement with the emotional world your emotional world and you you've been more um committed to your mental health to your identity to your self-esteem you've been more committed to it even if at times you don't know you're like i don't know why i'm sad i don't know why i'm sad but at least you allow yourself to say i feel sad whereas you wouldn't have allowed yourself to do that two years ago but now do you, do you understand what i'm saying at least now if your husband or your wife or your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your friend or your mum or your dad asks you are you all right your stock response isn't yeah 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 i'm fine i'm fine that's not your stock response anymore. You're more honest, even if you don't understand why. Oh, do you know what? I don't know. I'm feeling a bit weird. Even if that's all you say, it's better than saying, yeah, 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 I'm great. I'm fine. Do you see what I'm saying? You've, there's more engagement. 
There's more engagement with the truth, with the, 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 the inner world, the intuitive world, the emotional world. There's more engagement with that. Even though you feel vulnerable, you are acting on that. It's affecting your actions. It's affecting the things that you do. And that is a beautiful to see. And as I said, it's bringing, yes, we feel vulnerable. We're not sure. But it's bringing, it's, it's helping to grow. It's helping you to feel stronger. I promise you. Okay. So feel vulnerable. We all feel vulnerable. I feel vulnerable. We all feel vulnerable at times. That you know, you could name any person who who looks strong, you know, outside in the world, and they feel vulnerable. Everyone does because it's a it's a it's a human response. You know, we there's always two sides, and, and it's and it's hard to engage. It's hard to we live in this society and we know what the rules are, but we also have our own feelings we're also hurt we know that it's nice to be nice that's one of my phrases it's nice to be nice i used to say to the kids when i used to teach it's nice to be nice you know because all the my colleagues teacher friends would say ruth you're always so happy and cheerful and i say well it's nice to be nice and it is but it's much nicer to yourself you've got to show that compassion to yourself so if it's if you're not feeling great then it's important to have enough compassion for yourself to express that to you and to others is necessary and when necessary. The high priestess is about your intuition, okay? It's about the engagement with your intuition. So we've got divine feminine and divine masculine here. We've got, in fact, a new, this new opportunity. Wow, look at this. Look at that. Ace, ace, ace. You know, we've got these new, we have, you have got the new opportunities coming towards you and as I said, right at the start of the reading, grasping them is important to you. But it's because you're, you, you, even if you feel vulnerable, even if you feel like, oh God, I'm like, can I do this promotion? Like, is it really, you know, this job is way, way more than I thought I'd get, the promotion or whatever it is. I don't know, this, this, you know, this, this, you know, having children is way harder than I thought. Can I do this? Yes, you can. Even if it was hard, a hard road to get to the, the promotion or a hard road to get to the, the child or a hard road to get to the relationship, even if it was a really hard, long road, you can still do it. You can still make it work. And, and actually, you will see that. You, that will be shown to you. You will see that over this time period. It will be clearly demonstrated to you. And what will happen... See, we've got this clarified by this. So we've got these... These are these anxieties coming through. But what I love about the Nine of Swords is that we see everything. We get to see it all. So sword energy is about our thoughts, mind, clarity, consciousness, communication, our perspective, our ideas, what we think, what we say, how we say it, all that stuff. Number nine is related to the hermit energy and the hermit energy is your energy. And you know that your energy is about discernment. You're about the plans the, you know, well, okay, what's the best way to go about this? How's the best, you know, what's the best approach? How do I do it? How do I feel? You are meticulous in your um, focus on building, manifesting security. You're meticulous. But there's also the, 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 we have to go within to understand. We have to actively engage with what's within in order to understand how to go forward, what to do, what to do, etc. The thing about the Nine of Swords is I love this card because what it shows us is that the things that maybe have been hidden from your, the things that you've been hiding from yourself or suppressing or not allowing yourself to think or not allowing yourself to engage with, you are going to start to, you can see them now, you can engage with them now. And as I said, I've, I've said it already, so I'm not going to repeat myself. But those questions, those anxieties, why you're, why you're not feeling, what, you know, your uncertainties, your nervousness, your worries, you at least can add, you can at least see them now. And it's seeing them, it's being able to see them and recognise them that does help you to accept that they are beneficial to you, that they have given you something, they've given you a fuller, more complete, more rounded view of yourself. You recognise your import, importance. And that is extremely significant. So allow yourself to feel 
nervous. Allow yourself to feel anxious. Allow yourself to see that you're worried. Allow yourself to engage with that. Allow yourself to say, oh God, I don't have the confidence. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can be a mom. I don't know if I can be a boss. I'm not sure. You can be a boss. You know, there is opportunity. There are The universe is, is working with you. It's just, even if it's, it's taken a bit longer than you, you wanted to, maybe for some of you, and you're stressing about that, but this is how the emperor gets strong. The emperor gets strong because the emperor engages. The emperor is confident because the emperor engages with all this, with all it, with all it, <laughs> with all it. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Anyway, emperor engages with it, and that is why the emperor's got that confidence. And you can be safe in the knowledge that if I engage, if I see, if I reflect, if I, you know, look at it, if I let myself feel it, it's going to be all good. It might take you some time. You've got this energy of four of pentacles. So remember, we're manifesting. We're manifesting. Things are good. Opportunities are coming your way. But it's, it, I really feel like this is, I call this called consolidation. This is you doing what Virgo does, which is, as I said, the plan, you know, the information, the details, detail orientated. That's what you guys are. This is about consolidating all this, these feelings, these ideas of insecurity or of anxiety or of the toll, understanding the toll it's taken on you, you know, getting to the point that you're at now. So you've got the job or you've got the promotion or you've got the child or you've got the, the man or the woman or the thing that you want, you've got it. But it's kind of like, as I said, you're shell shocked, like bloody hell, that were hard work. I can't believe how much that tested me. I feel, and it's like this is the energy of you, just having that pause to say, okay, yeah, it did affect me. Yeah, it did. I did feel, you know, inadequate. I did feel no good. I did feel, you know, like useless. I did feel, you know, I did feel like that because it did take me so long to get this or because I did take it so, because it was, because I did find it so difficult to get to this point. You know, I did, allow yourself to engage with the fact that that is how, that it's been hard. You're allowed to, you're allowed to, you met, you know, you, 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 you're allowed to engage with it because yes, it was difficult. And I, and, and I feel like I want to give you a hug, Virgo, and say, but you are here now. So, so the strength is here. And you can be confident and should be. Okay. So let's look at your, it's almost like your reading is different because you've experienced all these energies. I just say, you know, week, this is September. I do that just to sort of, because I want to set out two rows. But it, this, this looks like two, what it looks like is on the outside and on the inside. That's what it looks like. It's like on the outside, as I said, things, things are here. Things are manifested. We can see them. The things that you wanted to get, the things that you've been trying to get, the place, the job, the person, whatever. It's like they arrive, the opportunities here. But within is that those feelings, those anxiety, those worry, the shock of how hard it was to get to this, to get it, you know, and, and, and of where it took you emotionally, where this year's taken you emotionally. It's like, the toll it's had on you. It's kind of like you're a little bit, you're a little bit tired, you know, a little bit sort of, it's like a, a, a relief that you've, that you've got here, but it's kind of like, as I said, you've got to so just allow yourself to, 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 to feel it. Allow yourself to, to engage with what you really feel and, and how it's affected you getting to, to where you're at now, to what you wanted. Because it does feel like to me, this is like, on the surface, in the outside world, the things that we see, we've got success, we've got the opportunities, we've got security, but within, as I said, there's the, the, the sort of reverberations, if you will, of 2019, but you don't need to worry. The confidence, you should, you can feel confident and should, okay? So we've got, interestingly, two outcome cards, which has never happened before, because usually I just get one key, and two key energies, but you've got these two. So we've got the two of wands, first of all, which is, um, so outcomes for you guys, we've, this is an opportunity, as we said, so we've got the one of the one of wands the ace of wands and they've got the two of wands here so we've got this opportunity coming in that you're ready able confident to grasp 
and then we've oh my gosh you had all four aces in this reading that's crazy that's that does not happen i think it's happened once before so you know we saw these i, I wouldn't have picked these if they weren't important um i wouldn't have shown them you they were just there just below your card you know so we've got one two three four and that's a number four as well so we've got this again four is the fourth house in astrology is linked to our roots our family where we are from the things we have experienced the things we have seen um the things that make you who you are the things that make up your identity and as i said that's dna and that's family and that's everything okay and that's your beliefs and all that stuff and there's a there's been a, a there's been a real there's been many um, opportunities karmically this year for you to engage with those things. And even though it might have been hard, challenging, difficult, it's actually giving you, it should give you confidence and strength. So what I'm just going to say to you is just engage. Just engage with what's going on beneath the surface, the feelings of vulnerability, feeling vulnerable with your emotions but still acting on them, feeling vulnerable with the things that, that you're passionate about but still acting on them, engaging with your in intuition, engaging with your emotional self and the anxiety that you've had, recognising that, yeah, it's had an effect on me, but knowing that you can be confident now because you can be, okay? So opportunities with um, the two of pent the two of wands and also Ace of Swords, which is about that discernment, that clarity coming through, clarity, clear conversations, clear communication with it, with yourself, within your mind and also with other people. So, so really cutting through this, cutting through this and cutting through this dark night of the soul people refer to that as short time cutting through all that and actually having that security having that new perspective and having that confidence which is rightfully yours because believe me virgo you know you've earned it in 2019 okay my darlings i hope you like that reading happy birthday virgo my sister is a virgo and her birthday is just before this reading and just at the, just before the 10th of september her her um birthday is my lovely sister um so um happy birthday to you guys i hope you have a lovely birthday um celebrate celebrate okay have a lovely time for those of you um that have not yet please give this video a thumbs up and like and subscribe to keep with some tarot um you can read the astrology information etc um and about your energy your card in the tarot um on my instagram and um and below this reading as well um so yeah you know subscribe like all that stuff and i'll see you all again next week i'm going to i, I was pr i promised to do a um love reading a monthly reading um, for love um, so last month but I just couldn't do it because I was so unwell read watch my videos I'll link them at the end so you can sort of have an, an idea of, of the impact that it's had on me 2019 because it's been it's been heavy um, and you know you can look for there's a it's a collective reading as well so you can have a look at that sorry the dogs are barking and it's distracting me um, and um, I'll see you all again um, very very soon with your brand new readings have a wonderful month, Virgo. Take care, my darlings. Happy birthday. Bye.